Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we created the booking form to book tickets for workshop for customer. You can see here. Okay. Now in this lecture, we will look at Stripe account setup into Arrels application. Okay. So first we need to create an account on Stripe. Okay. So let's hope, let me open the stripe.com. And from this URL, you can go to the sign in. But before creating an account or signing into the Stripe, let me show, explain you that what the Stripe does. So Stripe is a payment infrastructure for millions of web application. And using Stripe, the such sites exchange payments and accept the payments from the customers. Okay, so it is widely used payment gateway that you can that you might need to uh, integrate in most of the rails applications okay as a rails developer okay so now let's see how we can sign into the system okay so you can see uh, a sign in link at the top right corner okay so click on that if you already have an stripe account then you can log into your account okay let me remove this already shared saved info yeah if you already have an stripe account then you can log into that system else you can click the sign up link okay and from there you can register to your account now i already have the stripe account so i will just log into my account and i will show you rest of the things that how it will work okay so let me log into the system so here you can see that after signing uh to the or after providing the credit my stripe credential i am at the page where you can see that there is a link for activate payments but uh, i am skipping it for now okay and now after skipping this uh, information you can see that uh, i am at the welcome dashboard or i am at the dashboard of stripe right now okay now at the dashboard you can see that there is a link in the top right corner that is developers okay so you need to go to this developers link okay so you can click here okay and here you can find these publishable keys and stripe keys or even you can find this here in stripe api keys as well so you can see that this is the publishable key and this is the secret key that you need to integrate in your system okay but again let's uh, come to the developers dashboard and here you can also see the api request uh, how many requests uh, has been uh, submitted to your stripe account and how many of them are successful and how many are failed and you can also see that what ta what type of request are there like get request post request and delete request okay and you can also see that web whether webhooks called or not and you can see the errors recently appeared in your while you make while you make request from the stripe so you can see the recent he errors here as well okay but now let's switch to the api keys okay because we need to store the api keys to set up into our rails application okay so here you can see the api keys so we need these keys publishable keys and the secret key okay and we will store them in our rails application as a env variable okay and once we add the stripe gem we need these keys to authenticate using stripe for making any request on the stripe api okay but before using these keys i just wanted to make sure one thing for you that if your origin country is india then due to changed rbi guidelines few stripes api cannot work or cannot be used in india for example that stripe charge api will not work in india okay however in india to support charges stripe provides the payment intent apis to capture payments but this is not something we gonna explore in this course very much but i will definitely provide a summary of how to work with payment intents in the letter of the in the last some videos in the course okay so if you are trying this course from india then you need to make some little changes here okay so here you can see that uh, in the top left corner you can see that there is a drop down of accounts okay so here you can create some new account okay so for example let's click on the new account button 
and when you click at the new account provide your company name or account name and then select your country of let's say usa uae where all the stripe plugins or api endpoints are supportable okay so just select uae or usa okay and then that will work for you okay and now once you use that you will get a different set of secret and published api keys that you can use okay so just use those updated keys which are supportable in india as well sorry outside the india okay we discussed that uh, what keys we required and from where we can get our storable publishable and secret stripe keys okay now we need to store these stripe keys as env vars into our rails app okay so to do that let's add the gem dot env rails in your gem file and run the bundle store so open your project directory and go to the gem file and in the gem file just come to the bottom and in the development test mode let's write gem dot env sorry dot env and then trace okay now save it and run the bundle install okay exit from the rails console run bundle install after installing the bundle what you need to do that you need to create a file and save the file name with dot uh, env okay so create a new file in the root directory of your project and save it as dot env okay and right after creating this file you need to make sure that you will add this file into git ignore okay because it is common practice to avoid your env variables to be pushed along with your code on any repository okay because it is not safer to send your environment variables along with your code onto some repository okay so add the dot env file into git ignore so we, you can edit like dot env and save the git ignore okay now you can see that dot env is like a disabled file okay and now here you can store your stripe publishable keys like that so strip stripe publishable key okay and then provide value here okay so here my publicable keys are like this so i will copy this copied and i saved it and similarly i can do the same thing for stripe secret keys stripe secret keys okay and then just to reveal the test key okay you Sometimes you might need password to reveal this key. Okay, now let's hide this. Okay, and save it. Okay, so we saved our environment variables. Uh, see, stripe keys as a environment variables in .env file. Now open the Rails console. Or Rails C simply. Okay. And in Rails C, I will show you that how we can access these env variables in our rails app okay so you can access it like let's say env and then provide the name of your environment variable so you can use stripe publishable keys okay so copy this and paste it here okay now you will see the value of this okay similarly you can get the stripe secret key as well Sorry, stripe secret keys i made this mistake so just uh, correct the typo here okay stripe secret key not the keys now exit from rails console and restart your console again because just to make sure that whenever you make any changes in your environment uh, variables okay or in dot env file or whatever the file where you store your environments okay and if you make any changes in those variable name or variable keys or values then make sure to restart your rails server or rails console okay so now let's access this stripe secret key okay so we can access these values as well okay so far we have seen that uh, how to create account on stripe and how to set stripe api keys 
or sorry stripe publishable and secret keys into our rails application now it's time to add stripe gem to use stripe endpoints in through our application okay first you need to add the gem stripe in your gem file so you can add that gem here let's say gem stripe okay and after adding this gem to your gem file you need to start the rail server sorry you need to install the bundle okay so let's run bundle install here you can see that uh, in strive with version 5.53 has been installed in your application okay now to authenticate for every stripe request we need to require a, we need to create a service directory in our app directory and then inside the service directory we create a stripe service okay and name this file as stripe service.rb however if you want if you are not familiar with service or if you want to manage this inside some other classes like let's say if you want to manage this inside your controller itself or model classes itself you can do that but just to make the code dry and just to follow the standard practices i am creating a service class here okay so i will in i will also suggest you to do that but if you want to do that uh, at some other place you can do that confidently okay so let's open the project directory and inside the project directory go to the app folder and here we will create a new folder and provide this name as services okay and inside this services we will create a new file and name that file as stripe service okay so let's save it stripe service.rb okay and in this service now implement the class class type service okay and then and and inside this service we need to define an initialize method okay and in that initialize method we will define the stripe secret api okay so let's use def initialize Uh, by the way, the initialize method works as a constructed method in Ruby. Okay, so and here you need to do stripe dot API key. Okay, and now env and here you can write this stripe secret key. Okay, so copy this name from dot env file and save into stripe service dot rb. Okay, save this. Now we need to make this file available at the load time so okay so we can use this uh, stripe service class to instantiate the object for stripe okay so open the application.rb from config directory okay and here you can see at the line number 20 that it is showing config agar load paths okay and in this what you need to do that uh, remove this extra and you need to write app services okay because services is not something which is uh, uh, the default directory supported by rails we are making this as a custom directory so we need to provide a load path for this okay so now when uh, you can access this service from service class from anywhere for example you can access this from model as well controller as well and helper as well okay now save this application.rb and restart the rails console okay now how we can test it that we can test it by instantiate an object of stripe service class okay so let's instantiate it stripe service equal to stripe service dot new okay so, and now here you can see that stripe service class has been instantiated here okay. and that's it this will instantiate an object for the service class and authenticate from stripe and that's all about this lecture in this lecture we saw how to create a stripe account and set up a stripe into a rails application and please go through this lecture sincerely and this will be helpful for you always whenever you get chance to work with the stripe okay and in the next lecture 
we will look at the stripe api reference and the stripe resources that we're going to use into our course project so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe